What's up everyone, welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Before we start with our missions and whatnot, I figured we'd go around and chat a little bit with some of our squad mates, so I'm gonna do that. So let's start with Joker here. Hey Commander, we got Garrus back! That's great, cause he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him but he's special and he sets fires or something not <laughs> too far there but you know what i mean <laughs> your problem not mine thanks i'll remember this <laughs> that's it for now see you commander god i fucking love joker he's definitely earned his name that's for sure oh fuck what's up gary goo shepherd need me for something uh, yeah, actually. What you got for upgrades, boy? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon system? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. I will take a look. What you got for upgrades, boy? Show me them upgrades. Fuck, wrong button. Thanix cannon. Hell yeah. Boom, now the Normandy's got a Thanix cannon. It will help. Shepard, need me for something? Yes, yeah, chat. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I saw that in every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We uh. haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Uh, How do those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. Well, that's not good. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Well, what the fuck? I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Well, that's fucked. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Sounds Thanks for like a pretty reasonable goal. I've got some things to take care of. Alright, well I'm just gonna go around the corner here real quick, see if Miranda Moo has something to say. Guess I'm to say, Miri? Commander, what can I do for you? What's you up? a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an oh, operation nice. report. She's got a minute. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far things have gone exceptionally well. We've gone on like two or three go, missions. This is one of the best I've been a part of. Ooh, I'm not Cerberus, girl. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. A Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Why? What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. I am your commander, Do you remember all. when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Hmm. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. Hmm. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. 
Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Huh. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Nah. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Anytime? How about right fucking now? Nah, I'm just playing. Anyway. Yeah, alright. Now we can start doing mission stuff. Because everyone likes mission stuff, right? Probably gonna go to the Citadel. So, yeah. See you there. And here we are on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. <laughs> I love this. Just gotta sit here and let it Got play out. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Commander Shepard, we have the finest companions waiting for you. Perhaps something petite, smart, and Japanese would be your style. That would actually be very my style, thank you. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? <laughs> Shepard, you do have the password, right? <laughs> Commander Shepard. <laughs> okay. Uh. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version? They were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. We'll see what we can do. No guarantees. Sure. But I bet you're dying to see what it's like to come along on a heist with me. It's not as amazing as we it sounds. It's actually up. pretty fun. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. The, well, the advertisement kept talking to me, alright. Yeah, Kasumi can do that. Kasumi's fucking awesome. I love Kasumi. Is he not this gonna give me? This yes. This speech is awesome. The main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to one point three percent of light speed. It impacts with the force of a thirty-eight kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means. Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Servicemen <laughs> Burnside, what Sir is Isaac Newton law? is the deadliest Sir, son of a bitch in space. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. I love how Shut my fucking down. suit what? has a fucking think? white yeah. and gold stripe okay. on it instead of the usual Sorry for the red and white. Sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. Testically, I was. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. 
Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. But seriously, usually the N7 stripe on the armor is red with fucking white outlines. Or is it white with red outlines? No, it's red with white. Can I not remember my own fucking favorite stripe? I'm pretty sure it's red with white outlines. Or is it white with red? Or maybe it is white with red. Fuck, I don't know. All I know is I think this stripe looks cool with the white and gold, right? Fuck. I feel so stupid You'll not even to being able to remember. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. Yes? I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. Okay. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Uh -huh. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here? And we call it done. Okay. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost Spectres is still kicking. Yep. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectres resources would be useful. Yeah. That and the Anderson sent us a message saying he wanted to see us. Best thing about working is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. No. I won't let you know. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled. Anyway, to the press IDM. Shepard! Anderson. Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. Oh, I fucking got it. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting, too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Hell no. Udina's a fucking dick. Do you not remember the events or the shit that went down the first game? Nobody said this was going to be easy, but I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. No, oh, fuck him. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. Yeah. I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them. But you can. Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems. And I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. I uh, know it definitely the wouldn't be. two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Yeah. The original Council was made up of a bunch of blind, stubborn morons. The new Council looks just as bad. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity, and the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. Yay. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. 
Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Yeah, I'm sure Sorry you wish that. me a good day. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Hmm. Udina's just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he knows Asian hookers? He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Hmm. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how it works. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Yeah. Well, bye. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Oh, I know. Well, anyway, we didn't get jack shit accomplished in this episode. Oh, uh, we talked to some people, went to the Citadel and talked to more people. That's what I just spent, like, the last fucking 17 minutes doing. So, next time on Mass Effect 2, we'll actually start a fucking mission. And actually get some shit done. But until then, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next one.